In the figure, two circular arcs have radii A is equal to 13.2 centimeters and B is equal to 11.2 centimeters. Subtend angle theta is equal to 73 degrees. The carry current I is equal to 0.327 amps and share the same center of curvature P. We're asked what are the magnitude of the net magnetic field at P. To find the magnitude, we need to use the formula for it. And the formula for magnitude for two circular arcs is going to be the absolute value of B is equal to U naught times I divided by four pi R. Since we have two circular arcs, we are going to have a B of N is equal to B of A plus B of E, since we need to find both of them. If we combine these together and then start plugging this in, to our equation here for its respected subscripts. However, there are a few constants that we can factor out. Our u naught is constant throughout, so we can factor this out. Our i, since they're on the same current, is constant, so we'll factor that out. Our 4 pi is constant as well, so we can factor this out. The only thing that's different is our radius. Our radius for a is 13.2 centimeters, and our radius for b is 11.2 centimeters. So we can multiply this by 1 over r of a plus 1 over r of b. Now we need to see if these are both going in the same direction or if they're going in the opposite direction. And this is referencing our current. So our current is given here and here. We are mostly concerned about it on this part where our radius is being measured and this part where our bigger radius is being measured. If we use our right hand rule for our top current, our thumb is going to be pointing this way, and we can see that our fingers are curling out of the page. And if our fingers are curling out of the page, we're going to have a circle with a small dot inside of it, indicating that it's going out of the page, and the current is going to the positive. For our bottom current, our thumb is going to be pointing this way, and we see that our fingers are actually going into the page here. So that means we're going to have a circle with an X inside of it and this is going to be in the negative direction. So that means instead of adding these together, this is actually going to have a negative in front since R of B is going in the negative direction. Our answer being negative or positive doesn't matter, it just denotes direction, so this is going to be in absolute values because our magnitude will not be negative. We can start plugging in what we know. We have B of N is equal to our U naught, which is a constant 4 pi times 10 to the negative tesla meters over amps being multiplied our current i which we are given as 0 0.327 amps and this is all being divided by 4 pi in here we have our r we have our r1 which is 13.2 centimeters or 0 0.132 meters being subtracted by our r b which is 11.2 centimeters or 0 0.112 meters and this is all going to be in absolute values before we start putting this into the calculator we can cancel out our four pi's to make this a little bit simpler we can also cancel out our amplitudes because these are the same and cancel out our meters because these are the same after we plug this into our calculator we're going to get that our b of n is equal to approximately 4.4 times 10 to the negative 8 teslas. Normally we would be done here, however, since we are given a angle, we have to factor that in, and we have to multiply this by that angle. We aren't given a cosine or a sine, so we are going to have to convert this into radians. And the conversion for that is pi over 180 degrees. This is going to be 1.27, and if we multiply that by our 4.4 times 10 to the negative 8, we are going to get that our B of N is approximately 5.6 Teslas. For part B, we are asked the direction in or out of the page of the net magnetic field at P. In our problem, all we need to do is take what we have in here. The only difference is that after we plug this into our calculator, what's going to end up happening is we are not going to take the absolute value of it. And that's going to give us negative 4.4 times 10 to the negative 8 teslas. And since this is a negative, 
right here. This will tell us our direction. In the negative, we know to be going to the left, and our left is going to be the current that is flowing through B, the arc radius B. Since it's flowing through B, we know that it's going out of the page, denoted by this X. So our answer is that the direction of our net magnetic field is out. And that is the work and answer for number two.